Hi folks and welcome to this video on uh, uh, forward contracts. In this example it says we're hedging or again we're going to get a forward contract that's our hedge a forward contract we're hedging a monetary payable position since the company is importing goods that means they're buying them from a foreign supplier so we have to kind of visualize what's going on here we have a company that's uh, that has a supplier in a foreign country so when we go to pay that supplier we have to pay them in the suppliers uh, currency and in our case they told us the currency uh, is uh, DMs. We don't know what those are. Those are just foreign currency units. Like in Canada, we have the dollar. Uh, in um, in um, most of Europe, we have the euro. This country deals in DMs. We don't really know what they are, but it doesn't matter. That's the that's the foreign currency unit. So in any case, we're going to have to make sure that if we're going to hedge or get a forward contract here, what that means is that we're going to have to bring Canadian dollars to the bank and we're going to have to get, with the Canadian dollars we bring, these uh, foreign currency units known as DMs in order to pay our foreign supplier in that foreign country. So that's why we're getting the contract because we want to, as the Canadian company, lock in at a particular rate so we want to know today how much money do we need to bring to the bank in Canadian dollars in order to get 613,000 DMs on April the 1st so we can pay our foreign supplier that's our goal and notice we're only getting into our transaction here for our forward contract at December 3rd so we're trying to lock in on December 3rd at a, at a Canadian dollar equivalent so we know how many Canadian dollars we need to bring to the bank on April 1st of year 4 in order to get these 613,000 DMs that we're going to use to pay our foreign supplier. So under the net method then, what we're going to do is we're going to book our transaction to book our liabil liability in the, um, in the uh, uh, Canadian dollar equivalent. So we know that our liability is 613,000 DMs and we know at that date each, each uh, DM was worth 75.4 cents Canadian. We don't have one DM, we have 613,000 of them. So when we multiply them by the exchange rate, we can set up our purchase, which is inventory, and credit our accounts payable for $462,202. And again, we get this amount by taking the number of DMs we're buying, which is 613,000 uh, DMs worth of product and multiplying it by the rate of exchange at that date. So we know that each DM it would cost us to buy a DM 75.4 cents okay or 0.754 dollars and we would multiply each DM by that Canadian dollar equivalent in order to get the amount of the payable in that Canadian dollar equivalent. So now what we decide is a couple of days later, we decide we wanted to get into a forward contract with a financial institution in order to determine at that date how much Canadian money we are going to have to bring to the bank in order to get 613,000 DMs to pay our foreign supplier on April the 1st, year 4. We enter into a deal that agrees to bring um, 79.4 cents Canadian for each DM, right? For each DM we need to pay. So that means that we agree that we are going to uh, bring to the bank 486,722 uh, dollars. Okay, and that's in order for us to get 613,000 DMs, that's the foreign currency, so we can pay our supplier. So remember that under the net method, all we need to do is make a memorandum. We don't make a journal entry to record the fact that we've entered into this forward contract with the bank. Under the net method, what they do is they set up a memorandum entry. So under the memorandum, to describe it, we would say in our minute book that on December 1st, year 3, the company entered into a forward contract with the bank to receive foreign currency of 613,000, and that would be 613,000 DMs, in exchange for the amount of Canadian currency we need to bring, which is $486,722. And again, what the contract is fixing for us 
as uh, the Canadian company is it's fixing the amount of Canadian dollars we need to bring to the bank in order to get these DMs that we're going to need to pay our foreign supplier. So we're locking in at 79.4 cents, right? Now it says here that we're going to have to bring that money, $486,722, to the bank on April the 1st, year 4. And that's the date at which we need to um, uh, execute our contract with the bank. So now, what happens at the end of year three? We saw in our problem that December 31st is a year end. So now at the end of year three, we need to do a couple of very important things. Because we follow IFRS 9, F IFRS 9 says that we have to do two key things. We need to fair value our account payable and we have to fair value our forward contract. So now how do we do that? Well, they told us that at the end of the year, the exchange rate was 77 cents for each DM. 77 cents Canadian for each DM. Well, you don't have, just put DM in there, just to be clear. You don't have one DM, you have 613,000 DMs. That was the equivalent that your payable was worth at the date you entered into the transaction. That's what you, that's what you did. At that time that you entered into the transaction with your foreign supplier, a DM was worth 75.4 cents Canadian. Now it's worth 77 cents Canadian. So in fact, now, even though you're not settling your liability, but if you had to, you're, you would need more Canadian dollars to settle your accounts payable. So in this case, you would adjust your account payable upward by the difference between what it was at the date you entered into the uh, transaction with your foreign supplier and what it's worth now. So because your liability went up, you have an exchange loss because it would cost you more today, okay? It would cost you more today to settle that liability because it would cost more Canadian dollars to settle that liability today. You'd need 77 cents Canadian to settle the liability. Whereas when you'd entered into it, it was only 75.4 cents. So that's why you have a loss. So we're going to debit the loss, the exchange loss, and credit the account payable or increase the payable by the difference between the rate in effect at the date you entered into the account payable, which was 75.4, and what it's worth today, which is 77 cents. So the difference between those rates times the original amount of the, the um, uh, liability in the foreign currency, which is 613,000 DMs, that's going to increase your payable by 9808. And again, debit your exchange loss. Now what are we going to do? The next thing we have to do under IFRS 9 is we have to adjust our forward contract. Well, don't forget, you locked in your forward contract at 79.4 cents Canadian. If you were to enter into that contract today, you would have to uh, you would have to lock in at 79.9 cents Canadian. So if you had the point is if you had to go to the bank today to ink a forward contract, it would cost you 79.9 cents 79.9 cents Canadian. But you locked in at 79.4 cents Canadian. So in our lingo, you got a good deal. So all we're doing is fair valuing the contract. But you didn't lock in today, but if you had, you'd be locking in at 79.9 cents. You locked in at 79.4 cents. So what that means is you would only have to bring 79.4 cents Canadian, okay, to the bank to get one DM. If you were to do that now, you'd have to bring more Canadian dollars, 79.9 cents Canadian for each DM. So you got a good deal. So we would book that as a gain because if you locked in at a better rate than if you had done it now. So that's considered a gain and we're going to debit your forward contract and that's an asset to you now because you've booked a gain on the forward contract. So now what happens at the end of year three on the balance sheet, what would happen? Well, we'd set up your forward contract at a debit balance, which is an asset of 3065 And here we would set up our liability. It's actually now $472,010. How do we know that? Well, you set it up at 462202 and you adjusted it at the year end by increasing it 9808. So 462202 plus 9808 is going to give you 472 
10 on your balance sheet. Now what's happening? Now that we've made our year on adjusting entries to adjust the forward contract and the account payable, now what we need to do on April the 1st, this is the date at which we are going to settle our liability with our supplier. So we need to do two key important things first. First of all, we need to adjust our account payable and our forward contract to the closing or spot rate on April the 1st, year 4, because we have to book any exchange gains or losses since December 31st, year 3, right? We did it up here. We adjusted our payable and our forward contract to its fair value based on the December 31st, year 3 year-end rates. Now what we need to do is we need to record any exchange gains or losses since December 31st, year 3, all the way up to April 1st, year 4, because that's going to help us adjust all of our income statement amounts, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our account payable to the spot rate. Don't forget, at the year end, you adjusted your account payable here to 77 cents Canadian. Now you've got to adjust it to the spot rate, which is 81.5 cents Canadian. So it would cost you now, over that period, it would have cost you more to, buy, um, to settle a liability. It would have cost you 81.5 cents today to settle a liability. Whereas at the year end, year, at the end of year three, it was only costing you 77 cents Canadian to settle the liability. So now your account payable's gone up because it's costing you more to settle the liability by the difference in the exchange rates. This 77 cents is your December 31st year three rate. This is your April 1st year four rate. So that difference multiplied by the amount of DMs that you would need to settle uh, or, 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 or the number of DMs that your payable is worth in the foreign currency, that's going to give us a credit of 27585 And because your liability has gone up, that means you have an exchange loss of 27585 now to adjust your forward contract to the spot rate, remember at December 31st, you adjusted your contract to 79.9 cents Canadian. Well, now you've got something to consider. Now the forward rate is 81.5 cents Canadian. Notice it's the same as the account payable rate here at 81.5 cents. That's because your contract is over. There are no many day, there are no days left in the contract. So your exchange rate here is going to be the same as your account payable spot rate because now we're closing the contract. So now what's going to happen is if you were going to enter into a contract today, you would have to bring more Canadian dollars to the bank to get one DM than you would have at the end of year three. So because you locked in at a more favorable amount, in fact, you locked in at 79.4, that was your rate up here when you recorded the contract. All we're saying is that now from the time at the end of year three to now April 1 year four, it got even better for you because had you had a forward contract at the end of year three, you would have been locking in at 79.9 cents Canadian. So you would have had to bring 79.9 cents Canadian to the bank at the end of year three to get 613,000 DMs, right? But now you'd have to bring 81.5 cents Canadian to the bank to get a DM. Well, because at the end of year three, it's more favorable than it is now, you've got a gain on your contract. So we're going to credit the gain and increase the contract, increase your asset by 9808. So now what are we going to do? Now what we're going to do, now that we've adjusted our account payable and our forward contract. Now we have to settle the contract. So what do we do? Because we're hedging uh, payable position, the first thing we need to do is we need to bring Canadian dollars to the bank. What's the equivalent of those Canadian dollars? That's the first thing we need to figure out. Well, you would be getting the equivalent, you would be bringing your $486,722 to the bank. How do we know that? 
because that's what you locked in at. You said you would bring the bank that amount of Canadian dollars to get this many DMs. That was your deal based on the forward contract rate back on December 3rd. So now you have to clean out your cash account by that amount. And what are you going to get in return? You're going to get 613,000 DMs, but the going rate for them on April the 1st in Canadian dollars is 499,595. So notice here I said in the foreign currency, that would be the equivalent what you're getting in Canadian dollars, but you're getting DMs. Those DMs in Canadian dollars are worth 499,595. So the difference between these two is the amount by which your forward contract is being settled. And we know that's the amount. You don't have to plug it because you know here your forward contract, okay, when you set it up, it was worth at the year end 3065 You adjusted it at April 1st by 9808 So 3065 plus 9808 is 12873 So at the, at, when you make this adjustment, your forward contract is sitting at a debit balance of 12873 But don't forget, you're now cleaning out the contract, meaning that you're settling it. So once you bring your Canadian dollars to the bank and you get your 613,000 DMs, which in Canadian dollars are worth 499595 you've executed your contract. So you're going to get rid of or credit your contract. You no longer have it right? So now what are you going to do? Now you're going to bring your 613,000 DMs and you're going to settle your account with your supplier. So you're going to credit your, your cash account by the Canadian equivalent, which you've got 613,000 DMs in your hot little hands, but the equivalent of that in Canadian dollars is 499,595 and you're going to debit the account payable at that amount, what it's worth, which is 499,595. So if you wanted to prove that the amount of that uh, account payable that you're cleaning out is 499595 you can do that. And here's how you can do it. All you have to do to know that the accounts payable are going down by 499595 is to track it through. Well, don't forget, at the end of year three, we said the account payable was valued at four, four $472,010. Don't forget how we got that. We took the original payable at 462202 and adjusted it by 9808 upwards. That's how we got that. Well, at the end of year four, we also adjusted it by an additional 27585 So again, we know that our account payable is sitting in the Canadian equivalent on our books at 499595 by adding those two amounts together. So to settle that liability, we're going to use our 613,000 DMs that are worth in the Canadian equivalent 499595. And this is also the Canadian equivalent of our liability. So this concludes our example of hedging using a forward contract when you have a liability position to settle. I hope you found the video helpful.